Most sales professionals know they should ask questions to better understand their clients. It's common sense advice. But in reality, few are actually good at it. Most sales professionals jump straight into presenting their solutions without truly understanding their clients' core concerns, fears, or desires. They assume a one-size-fits-all approach will work, but it rarely does. It's a rare few who understand the value of slowing down the sales process so they can gain a clear understanding of clients' motivations, fears, and desires. Do this effectively, and you quickly earn trust and eventually people's business. Now, this starts with asking better questions. How do you effectively do this? Well, let's start with what not to do. Avoid asking a series of why-oriented questions. What? Isn't it common knowledge that we should start with why-type questions to understand what makes people tick? Yeah, but here's the problem. When you ask someone those type of questions, it often feels like an interrogation to them. When you and I were younger and we did something that adults perceived was wrong or bad, what kind of questions did they ask us? Why did you do that? Why would you think that's okay? Why are you behaving this way? Why are you being so difficult? See what's happening? This is the reason many people instinctively become defensive when we ask them a series of why questions. It's like shining a spotlight on their discomfort and instead of opening up, they shut down. So take this scene, for example. Imagine I'm talking with a prospective client, John. He wants to hire me for coaching. John, why did you reach out to me for presentation skills coaching? I um, feel like I'm not connecting with my audience. Well, why do you think that's happening? Maybe because I'm not confident in my delivery? Or why aren't you confident? I'm just not sure people are getting what I'm trying to say. Well, why do you want them to get it? Uh, I, I don't want my message to fall flat. Do you see what's happening here? How would you feel at the receiving end of this? Probably frustrated, annoyed, or defensive. Compare this to more effective approach using variations of why type questions. Again, I'm meeting with John. John, what motivated you to talk with me about improving your presentation skills? Well, I feel like I'm not connecting with audiences as well as I should, and I think it's impacting how my message is received. Hmm. What do you think is getting in the way of that connection? I think it's lack of confidence when I deliver my message. Hmm. How do you believe the impact of your message will improve if you're more confident? I think people would feel more at ease. They'd listen to me more closely and they'd begin to trust what I'm saying. Interesting. How do you want to impact your audience? I want to leave them feeling inspired and motivated to take action on what I shared. I, I don't want them to just listen and forget everything they said when they walk out. See the difference? Instead of hammering John with why questions, I asked what and how type questions. And this approach gently leads the client deeper into their motivations and emotions. It creates space for a meaningful conversation instead of an interrogation. If you're in sales, coaching, or any field where you offer solutions, remember this. It's not about you delivering the perfect pitch. It's about understanding that person in front of you at a deep level. This means knowing their motivation, their desires, and their fears. Skip the constant why and instead explore their challenges by using variations of the questions. You'll help them discover what truly matters and in turn, they'll feel heard and understood. I'm going to leave you with a challenge. Create five questions that don't begin with the word why so you encourage people to open up to you. Now, the second part, it's a two-part challenge. Start testing these. Use them in your everyday conversation, in low-risk environments, with your family, your friends, uh, over the weekend when you're out socializing, and watch how people react differently when you ask a what, how, or even when type question versus why. See how they react emotionally. 
test this out. Would love to hear in the comments section how these kinds of questions are working for you.